Okay, let's go back to the sword to do. What's up there? Oh, here's the sword to do. He said, come up here. Oh, so the shield is on everyone's door. Okay. Ho oh, ho ho. Like Einstein shaved and then pasted it onto his face, and this is what he looks like shaved. <laughs> he really didn't have that much hair. <laughs> so soon, my my my, if you're already old enough to be wearing those clothes, then it's going to be very important for you to gather as much wisdom as you can from now on. If you're to make your way in the world, that is, Crash. Now, I've been studying at Wealth of Topics since long before you were born. I'm what you'd call a brain of all trades. Yeah. Okay. You're a smart little fellow yourself, aren't you? <clears throat> I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down. Maybe you're the one I should pass it down to. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes. I do know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's an all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know? No, because they haven't read yet. How could I? Oh! What is that? Such a racket. Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan. Wow, dude. Anger management. Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother, who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day, the lot exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. The brain's a muscle too, I think. <clears throat> anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot, as if that's of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? <laughs> I'm not even touching that. <laughs> what's a brother to do? One point lessons! Lesson one, the energy of life! To be young is to know no limits to one's stamina. To become stronger, one must first know oneself. The hearts in the upper left show one's current life energy. Perhaps a fancier way to describe it would be to call it a life gauge. As one experiences trials and hardships in life, one will naturally gain more hearts. However, if one is injured and takes damage, those hearts will decrease. At such times, it may be possible to replenish one's health by cutting grass and finding hearts. Well, thank you. This is really informative. Sturgeon's One Point Lesson. Lesson 2. Do not underestimate the sea. It's easy to get swept up by a little success at swimming, but the sea can be fickle. Swimming for too long will drain one's energy, and eventually one will sink. Watch the round icon on the bottom right while in the water. This one's swim timer. This is one swim timer. <clears throat> one should be sure to get back to shore before one's swim timer runs out. If one doesn't, it I can't be responsible for what happens next. I wouldn't imagine you could. You're not going out in the world with me. Lesson 3, uh, the great map of life. As one is often hasty and acts without thinking when young, it's easy to get lost on one's way. It is at confused times such as this that one must refer to his or her area map in the lower left. The yellow arrow shows one's current location, enlarge the map with the right d-pad or hide the map with the left d-pad. This guy is terribly, terribly bad at breaking that fourth wall. <laughs> the up arrow 
in the top right portion of the area map indicates wind direction. Always remember that the wind blows in the direction of the arrow. Always. I don't even have a map right now. Is this lesson four? Material goods. The more one tries to experience in life, the more experience related belongings one tends to gather. And of course, with those belongings comes a need to keep track of them and keep them in good order. One needs only to press start or pause to see the items he or she has obtained. The item screen contains items the player can set to use can set to and use with Y, Z, and X. Really? Y, Z? That's weird. The quest status screen for its parts contains vital items related to one's quest. It's possible to switch between these two screens by switch by pressing L or R. Gee, this guy is very informative. Lesson 5. <laughs> There's no title to this lesson. <laughs> How not to regret the things one fails to do in life. A very important lesson. There are many things one, lo one longs to do in the limited time one has in this world. The easiest way to regret things one wanted but failed to do so is to say. <laughs> While one may feel invincible and wish to continue one's quest, one never knows when disaster or calamity may strike. If one's life energy is extinguished before one has had a chance to save, then one's life will have been lived in vain. It's a shame to regret the deeds one has failed to accomplish in life. Press start, pause, and choose save from either the item screen or the quest status screen. Yes, sir. Lesson 6, Improving Human Relations. <laughs> to improve one's relations with one's fellow beings, one must, this is ridiculous, be outgoing and press A to speak to all people one meets. When one opens one's heart to others, others will open their hearts in return and offer wisdom on many important things. In the person's advice, if the person's advice is strange or cannot be understood, one should not feel shy. One should simply ask the person to repeat the statement by pressing A again. More often than not, if one asks politely, a person will say the same thing over and over and over and over. I mean, again, until the meaning is clear. Yeah, you've... Thank you for beating that to death. Lesson 7. Knowing one's own abilities. To improve one's life, it is wise to watch A and R calmly whenever one comes across a person or an object. By doing so, A and R will pass along wisdom regarding how one can best interact with that person or object. To know one's own abilities is to know one's limits. A little programming silliness in there. Lesson 8. Changing perspective leads to success. The young often assume that they can see all that is before them, but oftentimes they are missing out on a grander view. Gee, I could just quit the game after being done with these, because we all need these lessons, and that's all. I could just give you all these lessons, and... Anyway. By using the C-Stick to change perspective, one can often find oneself gazing upon sights and discoveries one never expected to see. Once one has seen all there is to see around oneself and determined an appropriate course of action, it is wise then to press L and take action. Okay. To get things at eye level, one should stop on one's track, press L, and tilt the C stick up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lesson 9. A fool and his rupees are soon parted. It is commonly known that he who makes poor use of rupees will have a hard life. In order to fully enjoy a long life, it is wise to get the rupees early and often. Are you telling me they're right there? Because I'll take them. I don't care if they're yours. <laughs> Lesson 10. And hopefully the last one. Becoming a champion of life. 
Learn all there is to learn in lessons one through nine. <laughs> well, <laughs> there just had to be a summary. <laughs> and no matter what happens, do not give up. Do not complain and do not stay up all night playing. That's... You know what? Now I'm gonna get mad. Because you just told me not to do what I'm doing. <laughs> Shh. Shh, old man. I will break your tree. Books. Look at that. How high can you get in this room? It'd be really cool if you could get up there, wouldn't it? Kind of funny, because there's the ladder over there. <laughs> I was going to take the long way up. Crunch. Can't see me. Oh, that's interesting. Army claw crawl. Luke. Break my face. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you got for me? You're a smart lad, Crash. You'll find that everything I've written down and tacked on my walls will be very useful in life. A lifetime of knowledge all for you. But you just be sure to take the time to read it all through very carefully. You know what I did? And I've got a complaint. I think lesson 10 just totally needs to be removed. <laughs> if you don't, you'll surely end up like that useless hooligan of a little brother of mine who lives downstairs. You know what, kids? Let this be a lesson. Old men and their grudges. I mean, he's family. Who cares if he's a hooligan? Give him a hug. Why don't you tell him life lesson number 10? So you go read life lesson 1 through 9. And then be like, why... Why are you talking about A and B and L? I don't have a controller in my hand. I'm, I'm real. 